So, uh, good morning. Um, great that some of you made it on the first slot. Um, my name is Tim, and I'm going to present you uh, the project Clothlet to Encrypt. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak here in front of you. So, what is Clothlet to Encrypt? It's a project um, by Jonas Meurer and me. Um, we are both freelancing system engineers living in Germany, and we're planning to bring full disk encryption into the suspend mode for Debian and hopefully its derivatives. So, why is it useful to you? Uh, full disk encryption only protects the data while it is at rest, which means uh, when your system is powered off, which for most people is like very little time anymore because they just like close their laptop and take it somewhere. Um, so we're trying to improve this time span where your system is protected to all the times when it's in suspend mode or sleep mode, which is the same. Um, and hopefully this will uh, save your data at night or while you're on the move or while your uh, laptop is on a train or something. So first of all, why, why is this even difficult? Well, we're locking up your, like, we're locking away your running operating system. Um, if this doesn't sound difficult to you, lucky you, it was difficult uh, to me. So there's all kinds of uh, race conditions then uh, that can happen. Since uh, we've locked away um, all of your file systems, um, the kernel might want to access it because some process is requesting something that would be uh, like that would have a file on your uh, system. So we have to make sure that we really know what happens before we enter the suspend mode and after we resume and that um, only processes access some data once we have unlocked the system again. Well, and then there's um, the thing that usually m memory management is uh, transparent, which is great. You don't have to care if you're developing an application. But uh, since the uh, swap space is located on your hard drive, which we will en uh, like encrypt and lock, and the memory is actually unencrypted, we have to uh, be sure what part of the memory is located where. So since this is the dev room, I'm going to uh, dive in right into the uh, details of how we implemented this. So, um, systemd is standard in uh, Debian nowadays, so we start with a drop-in unit for systemd, uh, and we override the um, command that happens on suspend mode. Usually it calls a uh, binary called sleep.c, and we override it with a wrapper for our uh, purpose which we call crypt setup suspend wrapper. Um, this wrapper then uses the init RAMFS that you have already used during boot. Um, I mean, that's, I, I'm, I'm guessing you have a full disk encryption here, right? So otherwise, all this doesn't make sense. <laughs> so we are reusing this and loading it into a RAMFS in your memory. Um, then we're using the uh, unified uh, C groups hierarchy to uh, transparently freeze all of your processes. So every um, C group has something that is um, like a freezer attribute, and we just call it to freeze. Something um, systemd tells you you shouldn't do because it's like interfering into all kinds of processes, but it uh, seems to work uh, quite well at the moment. Then um, we um, change root into the RAMFS, and um, we call our own um, binary encrypted up suspend. So, what this does is it first locks a lot of memory because we need a lot of memory um, afterwards uh, because uh, standard uh, key derivation hash function is argon 2i, which is memory hard, which means it needs a lot of memory. So we have to make sure the memory is actually available. Then um, we're telling the kernel to not uh, um, sync before it's suspend. Um, there's an attribute called sync on suspend. Then we manually sync the system, meaning uh, writing everything from memory to hard disk that is, uh, should be written there. Uh, then we do the lux suspend of all your lux devices. 
And then we suspend this, um, we tell the kernel to suspend, um, which it then does in the way that it usually does. So what is this attribute, syspower sync and suspend? Yeah, it's our first accepted uh, kernel contribution. Uh, we were very happy, it was a long way. Uh, <laughs> it's a tiny patch, um, but it's coming in actually the next release in uh, 5.6. Um, it was a very interesting um, exercise in interacting with the uh, open source community. And yeah, I can let, tell you later if you're interested. Um, basically, it is a runtime flag that tells the kernel if it should sync before suspend or shouldn't. There has been a, a build time flag before, which we obviously couldn't use because we're uh, aiming for upstream uh, adoption. And not everyone wants to use our program, probably. So going back into the details, um, the kernel has suspended um, and now we wake it up afterwards. Uh, it resumes. It gives back uh, <clears throat> the like power to the process that was running before suspend. Uh, in this binary, we unlock all the devices that we have locked before. Um, we go back out to the wrapper, and basically we just um, reverse everything that we did before. Um, we even um, like unlock your uh, like GDM session or something. Uh, Okay, so this, since I have very little time, I had to pre-record uh, the demo. So I hope that you um, believe me that it, it does what I will tell you. But otherwise, I'm, I have running this, like it's running on my system right now, so you can also check later. So here I am, uh, minding my business. Um, I'm suspending the system there. Uh, yep, it's, it's suspended now. I'm sending a CPI command to wake it up again. And you, I hope you can see it asks for the password of your um, uh, encrypted device. It could be multiple devices. You could use all the, um, the functions that have been there <clears throat> in the encrypted package before. So can you can use key files, um, like special security keys, or whatever. All right, what's next? Um, so, we need to do more testing, right? The suspend mode is something that is um, very uh, particular. So we have to test it on all kinds of dis different systems. And we hope that uh, maybe some of you will help us with that because we're very soon gonna merge the code with the upstream uh, crypt setup package. Um, so that in Debian testing, you can then just up install crypt setup uh, minus suspend and it will uh, transparently encrypt your um, file system when going to suspend mode. Um, we're waiting basically for the new kernel to come uh, upstream as well or to be released um, so that it makes sense to, that you can actually do some, some testing without compiling your own kernel. Um, then there's uh, this very tricky situation um, if you are low on memory. As I said, um, argon to i it needs about it needs about uh, like one usually one gig of RAM um, when unlocking the device, which you might not have. So if you're like very knowledgeable about um, kernel memory uh, management, please talk to me. Um, obviously, there are more secrets in your memory than just the lux keys. So we're, we were planning to include some, um, some scripts to get away some of those secrets as well. Yep, and then I want, uh, I'm short on time, sorry. I want, of course, to uh, uh, thank the uh, original CryptoDub authors. I want to uh, thank the CryptoDub maintainers who had the idea for this project, Gilem and, and Jonas, whom I've been working with, which, which was really great. And there have been people uh, trying to tackle this problem before, um, I think, our approach is the most advanced one, but um, they have done great work as well. And last but not least, I want to thank uh, Prototype Fund, who has been um, funding this project in the last uh, five months. Uh, they have a new round open. You can apply if you live in, in uh, Germany. They fund open source work. Uh, and yeah, if you're interested, um, you can visit our um, GitLab uh, repo, open some issues, or per uh, send an email personally. Thank you very much.